So let's see how to calculate the expected value in problem 44 using a TI-30X multi-view. Now you still have to do most of the work by hand in this particular problem, um, as opposed to a later problem where actually you can do everything on calculator. So in this particular problem, you still need to get up to this point where you make the table for the Y and the PK. So and this, this is the main data set and these are the probabilities. So the way we go from here straight to the expected value through the calculator is that we uh, hit the data button. So first we want to clear everything in the L1 and the L2. So I hit data again and clear, that would clear L1. And then I hit data again and go to L2 and hit enter, that will clear L2. So now I'm ready to enter. Uh, I'll enter my main values in the L1 column. So my column was, the main values were 100, 200, 300, 350, and 400. So 100, scroll down, 200, scroll down, 300, scroll down, 350, scroll down, and 400. And then um, you can make sure that the 400 is recorded by scrolling down. And then you go over to the right, because in the second column, I want to enter my probabilities. So my probabilities were, 1 over 3, 4 over 15, so 1 over 3, 1 divided by 3, scroll down, 4 divided by 15, scroll down, and then uh, the remaining were 1 over 5, 2 over 15, 1 over 15, 1 over 5, 2 over 15, 1 over 15, so 1 divided by 5, scroll down, 2 divided by 15, scroll down, 1 divided by 15, and uh, scroll down the receipt. Right now it's not been entered yet, so if you scroll down, it does get entered. And now we're ready to do the calculations. Hit second, stats, and we want one variable, stats, enter, and we want the main data to be in L1, so enter to make it solid, and frequency is the probability, so hit enter to make the L2 solid because that's where our probability was and now it's on calculation, so hit enter. And so you see the mean is 220, and the mean is actually the expected value, and that's what we got.